The purpose of the generator is to receive the rotating mechanical energy which is produced in the turbine and convert this into usable electricity at a specified terminal voltage. This diagram shows the major components of a typical generator, including the stator, iron core, stator windings, rotor, bearings, coupling to the turbine, the exciter and exciter coupling. The stator is anchored firmly to the concrete bed. The electricity is actually produced in the stator winding, which is the stationary winding which is supported by the stator frame. The stator winding consists of insulated copper conductors which are embedded in the slots of the stator core. The slots run end to end. The so-called iron core is made up of laminations of special steel. Each individual lamination or plate is coated on one side with an insulating material, the objective of which is to reduce the flow of induced eddy currents in the core. This in turn reduces the production of heat in the iron core and thus keeps its temperature down. The laminations are tightly packed together and secured within the stator frame. Once the stator bars are fitted into the core slots, they are joined at the ends to form continuous coils or windings. These end connections are referred to as end turns. The conductors are securely held in the slots by wedges of insulating material. This is extremely important as the windings are subject to quite heavy mechanical forces during operation. The windings may try to twist during heavy power surges or electrical faults on the power system. Similar distortion of the windings may occur if the generator is incorrectly synchronized, that is, connected to the system when it is out of phase with the system. One problem that can occur on generators is the loosening of the windings with resultant vibration and increased temperature rise and perhaps damage to insulation. Checking the conductor wedges for tightness is an important maintenance item during overhauls.